Hello everybody. This video is going to teach you about markups, discounts, tax, and tips. All of these you have to find percent of a number. It's just a matter of what you do with it afterwards then. Um, <coughs> a reminder of how to find the percent of a number. You change the percent to a decimal by move, getting rid of the percent sign, move the decimal over two places to the left. And then you multiply the decimal by the number you're finding the percent of. For markups, tax, and tips, you add that amount to the original amount. A discount is the only one that gets subtracted from the original amount. So, let's try a sample, shall we? Here we go. Victoria buys a pair of jeans that is 33% off the original price of $29. What is the sales price? Well, again, you take the percent here. You're going to need the two numbers. You take the percent and change it to a decimal. So we have 0.33, and you multiply it by the number you're finding the percent of. So I would have 0.33 times 29 is 957. So this is equal to $9.57. Now you have to think, what is she what is it asking? Well, she got 33% off. So even though this doesn't say discount, it is a discount. She's saving money. So then what you would have to do is you'd have to take $29 minus 9.57. So we take 29 minus, this is kind of a neat thing. I don't know if you guys knew this, but you can do second and then answer and then enter. And what it does, it takes your previous answer and puts it in then. And then you would add $19.43 is your answer. <coughs> All right, cool. Let's try another one. A store, let's say it's Zoomies. It's not really, but let's just say it is. A store that sells skateboards buys them from a manufacturer at a wholesale price of $57. Now, here's a term you may not have heard before, but wholesale, that's how much stores buy something for. And what they sell it to you for is called retail. Okay, so they mark things up, and that's how they make their money. So a store's markup is 150%. I know some of you are looking and go, wow, that's crazy. But really, it's not. They have a lot of money they need to make. they got to pay the employees and bills and all that kind of stuff. So let's say they buy the skateboard and they mark it up 150%. The way that you would find this out then is you would take 57 times 150 as a decimal. So 57 times 1.5. And that's equal to 85.50. Then what you would do is take the $57, which is the wholesale, what they buy it for, and add it to the 85.50. And that would be equal to 142.50. Hi, George. Hi. My son's here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> He's doing his math now, too. Okay. So this is how much they would sell the skateboard to you for. Okay, that again is a markup. And again, you got to remember the key words here, wholesale and retail. Wholesale is how much they buy it for. Retail is how much you buy it for. There is a difference. So retail is after the markup. All right, Jake, good old Jake. Jake is going to Tom and Eddie's for lunch. He has $10 to spend. The food he wants comes to eight fifty nine dollars before tax. If tax is 7.5%, does he have enough money? Okay, well, what he would have to do is take, oops, not a highlighter. He would have to take 8.59 times 7.5% as a decimal, which is 0 0.075. And he would get, ooh, this is going to be an interesting one. I'm going to do this one for you here. Okay, let me uh, clear, clear. Okay, so... 8.59 as times 0 0.075. Look at that. 0 0.64425. 0 0.64425. I love this sample <coughs> because we're talking money. You only need these first two digits. So what you're going to do is you're going to round it. Remember when you round, you look at this. You're going to round to this place. You look at this one. That's under five. So we're going to just cut these digits off. 
and we're gonna say that it is 64 cents. So then what we would have to do is take 8.59 and add the tax of 64 cents, and it would be $9.23. And when we look at the problem, he has 10 bucks to spend, so he not only has enough, but he has a little bit of change too. All right, one more problem. <coughs> Samantha is going to get her hair done at a salon. And if the bill is $35 and she wants to leave a 15% tip, what would the total cost of her visit be to the salon? Now, we're not doing tax here, okay? So we're just doing the tip. So let's say it's 35 bucks, and you would do times a 0.15 for the tip. That would be equal to 525. And then what would you do with that? Hopefully you say, you add it, Mr. Jones, it's a tip. It's something you're paying extra. I say, yes, it is. That will be $40.25. That's how much she would pay. That is all, my friends. A good ball.